Just being transparent and keeping it real with you guys. Goshiki, good news. Oh, is this something from Tiffany's? Bad news. Let me see you. Love Swedish fish. Yamato Nishiki. I just slipped down. Look at Lodged down there. Bottom feeder. They're usually at the bottom. Let's go see what I messed up on. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, before we jump into this video, this is the perfect opportunity right now before the video even starts. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. It's just called a notification bell. It notifies you. And the best thing about it is it's absolutely free. So let's jump into this video. I got some good news. And I got some bad news, Ohana. But first, let's start off with some good news. The above ground pond, all my beautiful koi are doing great. Goshiki, Yamato Nishiki, uh, Sankes, uh, Tancho Kohaku, Kohaku, INC Matsukenotsuke, I mean, I can go on and on. Shiro Utsuri, Asagi. Oh gosh, it's just so many colors. I already fed these guys too, so oh, there he is. Kikukuyu, let me see you. <laughs> right down there. Oh, Goromu, oh, everybody's doing great. Anyways, thought I'd do a quick little uh, good news. And speaking of good news, check it out. The floating planters are all doing great. And these planters are thriving, or I should say these plants are thriving. Sucking out all the nitrates out of the water, acting as little portable filters for the above ground pond. Everything looking great, lush. The bog filter, all these plants that are sucking out nitrates too out of the pond are growing. My beautiful taro, my orange canna still blooming. That's a new bloom, actually. Yeah, they're all doing good here. So this is the good news, Ohana. Now, if you guys want to see how I made these, each one of these baskets, these floating planters, if you were to buy one on, let's just say Amazon, they're going for about anywhere between $25 to $30, right in that range for the most part, depending on, I guess, where you're located. I actually made these floating planters. Are you ready for this? like two dollars and seventy cents yeah so go check out the video i'll put a link up above right there in the corner go ahead and click that link and go check out how i made these floating planters all the materials from the dollar tree store all right ohana so let's get into the bad news of this video all right it starts with in the house and it has something to do with the salt water tank i know just being transparent and keeping it real with you guys all right so let's go see what i messed up on yeah this is my fault Let's go. Here is my Innovative Marine 10 gallon saltwater aquarium. It is absolutely awesome. I love this thing. Um, yeah, and the uh, auto top off ATO is doing great. You can see the reservoir, the water has dropped down a little bit, but it's still going ever since I filled it up. Now, if you want more information on my saltwater aquarium, I'll leave a card up above. I created an entire playlist of the saltwater aquarium, almost like a journal of my saltwater, I guess you can say journey, yeah. And it talks about everything, the specs on the aquarium, what I use to scape, just everything. So go check out that playlist, Ohana, you absolutely love it. If it's something you wanna get into. Now, uh, the bad news about this aquarium is, in my aquarium, I have a pistol candy shrimp and my yellow Watchman goby. Now, you can't see them obviously right now. I'll show you a little clip if you guys haven't seen or if you don't know what they look like, all right? So check it out. All right, so now that you see the critters that I have in this aquarium, which I plan on adding some more, the bad news is my yellow watchman goby died. Now, some of you guys may be saying, okay, what did you do? Was it the parameters? No, the parameters were great in the aquarium. I got my ATO, everything is consistent, salinity, everything's great. Now, every time I add my food in this aquarium, it's, it's kind of a floating food, so I'll sprinkle it right here at, up top at the corner, and it will float and then eventually it'll sink, right? So it's that type, it's a sinking pellet, but it kind of floats in the beginning. Uh, now a, a yellow watchman goby or any goby is a bottom feeder. They're usually at the bottom along with the shrimp. So normally when I put food in there, he automatically comes out and starts eating just like in the video that I showed you. Now in this instant, I haven't seen him in like in a couple days, I'd put food in there, kind of look for him because it's kind of like the highlight and he's not coming out. I'll see the pistol shrimp come out and I'm like, oh cool. But then I don't see the goby, so I'm like, yeah, whatever. A couple days go by, I do another feeding, no sign of my yellow watchman goby. Now I'm a little concerned. Uh, there's a lot of flow in the aquarium, so it's not like he would be stuck and, and dying or something. He would have came out and be floating around if he was dead. 
So then I just, you know, the worst nightmare, right, is when you start looking around the aquarium. I'm looking high and low. And I just happened to just grab my ATO system right here and pull it back. And he was lodged down there at the very bottom. I was so bombed. And I was baffled because I'm thinking, he is a bottom feeder. He is a bottom fish, a bottom dweller. And the only thing I could think of that makes sense is when I throw the food in, some of the food immediately falls. Some of it floats. I'm thinking maybe he didn't see any food at the bottom or maybe he ate a couple pellets that were at the bottom because they're really small pellets. And he probably saw that there were some floating at the top. Maybe he went up to surface to try to eat. And I don't know, maybe he jumped out. Now look at my cover. Look at it. See how th this is just the cover that it came with. It's not a sealed, a fully sealed cover. So there's, you know what I mean? There's cracks right here. It, it, there's a crack all the way around the perimeter of this um, top, which is just the top that just comes off like this, right? So it's kind of an open top aquarium. And he had to, I mean, not had to, he did. He ultimately jumped out. And I'm thinking he jumped out of this corner here because this corner has a little notch taken out of it. You see it? And that's a pretty big opening. But as far as a goby goes, for it to jump out, super bombed. Um, so that is what happened to my yellow watchman goby. So I was super frustrated and I immediately got online and this is what I did. I went online and I immediately started to search for aquarium lids. Now I came across a company called The Kraken Reef. Go follow them on Instagram, all right? I'll have the links down in the description below, but I'll also put a picture of their Instagram page. Go give them a follow, Ohana. Life-changing for me, I'm telling you guys. They made a game changer from not only my aquarium, but I'm pretty sure for a ton of aquariums across the United States maybe even the world. I just received this package in the mail. We're gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got from the Kraken Reef. Big shout out to my boy, Josh. Big shout out to Anthony. They are the dynamic duo Hold it, Riddler. that has put this company on the map. Go check them out, Ohana. At least give them a follow on Instagram, okay? Let's go check out what they sent me. Ohana, Brada Josh, and Brada Anthony hooked me up. Look at this, an awesome shirt. We gotta check out the shirt. I actually gotta put this bad boy on. Oh, look at, I love that color. Khaki and the orange just pops. Look at that, huh? Woo, I like that. Premium nano lids, that's exactly what they do here. Look at that. So we'll put this shirt on the side and then look at the goodies that they sent me. Check this out. Oh, look at, we got some stickers here. The Kraken Reef. Awesome stickers, you can never go wrong with some stickers. Oh, is this something from Tiffany's? It's a teal bag. Just kidding, guys. Oh, that's nice, they got a little thank you card here. A little thank you card, right there, Kraken Reef, baby. Check them out, Instagram and Facebook, I love it. So, what else do we got in here? Oh, look, check it out, they sent me some reef glasses, love that, and there's something else in here. Oh, it was a system. Oh, this is actually the cover. And you already know what this is, a sweetest fish. Oh yeah, we gotta eat this thing. Oh, you guys thought I was kidding? Love Swedish fish, all right? All right, let's get back to this uh, opening. And here is the main attraction of this video and the reason why I'm creating this video. I have got a custom lid by the Kraken Reef. Look at that. Look at that, it is fully covered. There's nothing that's gonna be showing, no cracks, no crevices. I love it, that's what this is for. So we can put that right there. And you know the cool thing about this Ohana, I was talking to Josh on the phone and they can customize any lid. You give them the measurements of your aquarium. Now if you want certain cutouts anywhere for uh, wires and whatnot, they can do that too as well. Um, but in this case, I didn't need any cutouts. So they can totally customize your lid for your saltwater aquarium, freshwater aquarium. Look how cool that is, man. I can't wait to put this on the aquarium. No more fish missing. Now you can see the craftsmanship on this and it's kind of got like a little groove there so it'll sit really nice on the aquarium. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me look, let me back out a little bit. There you go, kind of sits so there's like a beveled um, little area right there. It just didn't stop there. They also got me a feeding cup, which is super cool. This goes right inside this circle here. Then you can put your food in here, whether it be frozen food or anything, pellets, put it in here, and then it'll slowly drop out of the bottom, 
which is what I need to help prevent my food from floating at the top and having this same accident ever happen again, but this is super cool. Can't wait to hook this up. Another big shout out. Oh, let me just grab it. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? The Kraken Reef, Brada Josh, Brada Anthony. I really thank you guys so much, man. You're making this saltwater experience for me a pleasant one. I mean, I did have some bad news, but it's okay. We learn from my mistakes, all right? The only bad thing I have to say about the Kraken Reef is uh, Brada Josh, man. Instead of giving one Swedish fish, we need at least six or seven Swedish fish, okay? Because I like a handful, throw them in my mouth and chew on it while I'm working on my aquarium, all right? So that's the only bad thing I have to say about the Kraken Reef is just more Swedish fish, okay? Just kidding, all right? I absolutely love everything you guys gave me. So let's go ahead and grab this equipment, go into the saltwater aquarium and make the magic happen. Quick wardrobe change. I got my Kraken Reef shirt on, got the Kraken shades. Oh, your boy is swagged out. We're ready to get cracking. Let's go. Now, let me show you something, Ohana. See the intense blue light that you have here? This is what the glasses do. Look at that. They eliminate that blue light so you can see your beautiful, I guess, in my case, my beautiful saltwater rock in its natural form. If I had corals in here, that's what you would see, the natural color of the corals or the fish. So it eliminates that blue light. So these shades are awesome. Look at that. Before, after. Before, after, after, before before after all right no offense to this aquarium top lid but hey you gotta go my man man it sucked that i had to learn the hard way but ohana it was for the best right it's for all of us man we're learning we're learning together in this saltwater hobby let's throw that there so it doesn't get wet everywhere and this is what the lid looks like so i'm gonna go ahead and take these little these little things off which are like the little legs that hold uh that aquarium lid on we'll just throw them down on the floor there no more of this no more of this nonsense here oh i'm super excited for this new lid to go on yeah here it is now with that being said and done and all that good stuff let's go ahead and put our new lid on look at this thing i absolutely love it and it's just gonna sit perfect i actually told him what kind of aquarium i had oh look at it fit right in the groove look at that custom fit i'm ready to feed i'll go ahead and take off the little feeding circle throw my food in here now what they gave me was the feeding basket so this right here if i'm ready to feed i just slip down look at it gets caught it won't fall in this helps you uh you know pull it out makes it easy I'll throw my food right here, whether it be frozen or whatever it is, and it'll slowly drop down through the little beehive. You see the little beehive down there? Yeah. And then when I'm done, I go ahead and take it out, put it down on the towel, and then we put our cover back on. Look at that. Look at, nothing is jumping out. Nothing is jumping out. I love it. Sealed all the way around. Oh, this thing has just made my aquarium absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're curious about the top, the top is like a mesh, okay? So this is still exposed. Um, just to give you a heads up, it's not completely closed. So I will still have the evaporation of this aquarium, but it's all good. We have our ATO system. We are good to go. Let me actually smooth out that intensity of that blue light there for the video's sake. There we go. Custom lid, the Kraken Reef. Go follow them on all their social medias. If you guys are looking for a lid and you want it to fit perfect for your aquarium, give them the measurements, give them a call, DM him. Brada Josh will hook you up. Brada Anthony will hook you up. This thing, game changer for my saltwater aquarium. I'm not losing any more fish. Now we gotta go back to Aquarium and Reptile Depot and go get ourselves another yellow Watchman Goby because I know my candy pistol shrimp in here is probably a little lonely and like i said earlier in the video i gotta give another big shout out to the kraken reef brada josh brada anthony thank you guys so much for hooking me up and taking care of my saltwater aquarium now ohana this is super important not only to me but to a lot of other people out there this business the kraken reef is actually veteran owned all right so big shout out to josh big shout out to anthony thank you guys i salute you guys for your service i really appreciate it and i think that's extremely important that the ohana knows about that all right thank you so much for all the swag the shirt the glasses the stickers the feeding cup are you kidding me 
Thank you guys so much. They have it all. Go check them out. Go check out their website. Like I said, I'll have all their links down in the description below. And uh, yeah, go give them a follow on Instagram. I feel super safe now with this aquarium lid. Thanks again. Talk to you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha.